Hey, welcome back to uh, Max Wellington, the only show where I put quackers back and seem to have forgotten where I put them. But I mean, he's out there somewhere. Quacker's my magical duck friend if you haven't been paying attention or watching. Go back and watch the other episodes. Anyway, I just grabbed the accidental warrior. Don't give up on this, honey. Oh, okay. Next room! So, we're exploring a very big house, trying to find where our sister Samantha uh, ran off to. Samantha and Daniel were in the woods one day. Oh, that's cute. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. Let's just listen to some music. Gonna clean the house Find my sister Said, did you put yourself in the oven again? You should know. No, not in the oven. Okay. This music is probably not helping me find her. Stop. This music belongs in the garbage. God damn it. Miss Quackers. I don't feel like going back for him right now. If I told myself I would, I am between this and the last episode, but that didn't end up happening. Wow, things are going well for uh, for them. Oh, also, I fixed the graphics. I meant to say um, they were kind of bugging me, so I got rid of the motion blur, and things seem to be going a lot smoother now. Is there any point to this room? What's this? Ask me. Ooh, 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 da 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 double ooh, Sam. No. Fuck you, Clown Burger. Maybe for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary. We will be camping in the gorge, but we will give you... Oh, I think my dogs are getting in the recording. Sorry about that. Wait, is this not a... Uh, is this not a CD? <laughs> Let's put it in anyway. Da -da -da! Da -da okay, yeah, that's... The name tag, not a uh, not a CD. Anniversary trip, next wedding. Okay, so we gotta find some. God damn it, Penny. <laughs> Sorry, that's my dog. Um, Lonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we'll have the run of the whole house till you leave. Imagine spending the night in my room instead of sneaking out to our usual spot in the attic. Not the attic doesn't have its musty lore, but my bedroom is warmer. Oh, wow, wow, would you look at that. <laughs> Fixing the garbage can. Okay. <laughs> ah, I love this game so much, though. It dares to be different. And that's important. You know what it should also dare to do? Is tell me one of the goddamn codes or something. Bet you put something in the fridge. Meh. Meh. I feel as though I'm not in the right part of the house right now. Bleh. 
stupid cup. Where haven't I gone yet? Down this way. No, down this way. Yes. More rooms. Two more rooms. Okay. Three more rooms. Okay. Bathroom. Magazine. Home cooking. Lost interest. Good. Good. Soap. What's through here? Oh, just another closet because this house doesn't have enough closets already. At least it has one left in the closet. Aha! Ha! Ha! Oh! Sorry. <clears throat> I really wish I could jump. That would be a pretty pleasant skill. Softener. Get in there. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone in here? Greenhouse. Some typewriter. Another note. I don't know what that's about. Typewriter. Another note from Sam. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. We worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off, then ran up to the attic to look through our photos, to find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past, and there wouldn't be any more. God damn it, Sam, stop. I didn't know what I was going to do. God damn it, Sam. And I cried. Sam, no. And she held me. Sam. She said she knew it was hard, that Sam. life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so... Oops, sorry! The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. This way. Oh, damn it, I thought there was going to be more. I was going to dramatically run to, um, to the attic. Well, we have the attic, we have the key. But I don't think I'm quite ready to go up here yet. Still got a little bit of time. So I'm gonna go back to the basement to get quackers because I miss my favorite majestic duck. Alright, Sam has her Lonnie. Katie has quackers. That <laughs> Sorry, this game's making me a little emotional. <laughs> probably shouldn't be, but, um, <laughs> it's just, oh, god, why, why, <laughs> why me, why am I the one, why is my first choice of game so, so much of a downer, right, Quackers, Quackers, where are you, Quackers, why is this house so big? Why isn't my house as big as this one, Quackers? Quackers! <laughs> okay, now we can do this. Let's get out of here. Never found out what the safe combination was. Did I? Did I, did I not? Hmm. Why didn't I open the... Yeah, let's just find the way. I don't like the noise. I really don't like these noises. I just want to get out. I just want to get out. I just want to get out. I just want to go up the stairs. Oh my god, I keep thinking there's a person there. 
is this game gonna be over? I love it so much, but it's not good for my mental well-being. God damn it, Quackers! Uh, okay. Now we're back in my room. Because that's how secret passages work. And then... Next time on Max Wellington. The Attic. Hey, welcome back to Max Wellington. My name is Max. I am your host. This is Quackers, my magical duck companion. If you haven't watched the other episodes, go do do that do that do that thing now. Do that thing now before before we head up in the attic. So I have a feeling there's gonna be some spoilers. Sam, Sam, my sister. <gasps> We were supposed to take him with us. This was his journey all along. Quackers! Hey, okay, let's see what's going on. Oh my god. Katie. I, I fell asleep in the attic and Lonnie in my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie, on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't... she couldn't think of anything but me, and us, and that she couldn't go through with it, with the army and being a part, and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said... Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said yes. Yes. Wait, Sam, come on, don't go running off to Salem on me. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself, but I hope as you read this journal and you think back that you'll understand why I had to do what I did, and that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again, someday. Love, Sam. What the hell? Full break company. What the hell, guys? Oh my god. That was an emotional trip. You guys are good voice actresses. Sarah Grayson, Sarah Abdebde, you did it. You made me feel. Okay, no, no more, no more, no more. That was gone home. Tune in tomorrow for something... Something a little more... Warm-hearted. Not that this wasn't more... Funnier, maybe. Oh, God. I'm gonna go think about my life for a little while. <laughs>